Welcome to the Info Day for the School of Design. This info seminar is designed to help JUPAS applicants to inform them of a little bit more about how our design school works and how you should ap apply to our school. My name is Peter Hasdell. I will be here to uh, guide you through this process. If you have particular questions, please leave your questions on the chat box and our current students and staff will answer you later. Um, you can also leave your email with us for future design events so that you can keep up to date with what's going on in the school. PolyU Design, as you may well know, is Hong Kong's premier design school. We have 1,100 students from Hong Kong, China, Asia, Europe, North America, Australia, and Africa. We are situated in a Zaha Hadid building on the PolyU campus. We have extensive range of facilities, workshops, libraries, material resources, studios, and spaces for our design students to work in. Uh, at the current moment, we are number 15th in the world rankings, the QS world rankings by subject for art and design as of 2020. This means that we are really in the top 15 of all design schools. PolyU Design offers four four-year programs in BA on scheme in design. These are advertising design, communication design, environment and interior design, and product design. In addition, we offer three two-year programs. These are in social design, digital media, and interactive media. For JUPAS applicants, you will be applying for the four-year programs. The first program I wish to talk about is advertising design. This will uh, allow applicants to graduate after four years in a Bachelor of Arts Honours Scheme in Design in Advertising Design. Please click on the QR code for more information. Studies in advertising design allow you to learn about copywriting, graphic design, photography, videography and marketing to allow you to design programs and advertising campaigns for companies in Hong Kong and around the world that can lead in terms of advertising campaigns. As examples, you can see on this page some of the, the work of the students. This involves sometimes online campaigns, as you can see through this mobile app, but may also involve comprehensive uh, studies in terms of graphics, in terms of how, how this advertising campaign will work and products themselves. This is an example by student Minnie Lee from Advertising Design. This is called Still Related If Not Related from 2020 for an imaginary client called Spotify Premium. Spotify Premium is here to reduce annoyingness in our daily living. This is done by targeting an audience who want their lives to be free from interruption. By using connecting people as the proposition for the campaign, people are encouraged to develop bonding between each other. By introducing an unrelated family member, free users can switch to the premium account by seeking their ideal informal family members to share the subscription. This encourages users to create their own family by approaching their surrounding people or even strangers to enjoy the premium account. As Minnie says, with Spotify, we are related even if we are unrelated. For this project, then the, the students developed as their final project a, a short film that highlights this. The next program I wish to talk about is communication design. This will result after four years in a Bachelor of Arts Honours Scheme in Design in Communication Design. Please click on the QR code for more information. Um, communication design inc includes information design, graphic design. It allows the, the students to uh, become expert in book design, 
uh, font selection, layout, color selection, packaging design, brand identity, interface design, and way wayfinding systems for the cities we live in. As you can see, it's quite a wide range of different skills. This graduating student project is called Open Up. It is for Hong Kong Public Libraries in 2019. It involves book design, souvenir design, pop-up library design, and is a project about promoting and raising public awareness towards Hong Kong's public libraries. It has three meanings. Firstly, to open up a book. Secondly, to open up new libraries. And thirdly, to open up to yourself. The project hopes to gain more awareness and engagement of public libraries from people by introducing the unknowns of public libraries and to bring our library activities into our everyday life, thus changing their impression towards public libraries. This student project, the Half Dorm Co-Living from 2018, uses brand identity uh, to de develop name cards, packaging, website, and event calendar. The Half Dorm project uses core values of co-living. Um, we are aware of all the importance that fun factors and human connection offers in co-living. On top of all of these, we have a strong belief that co-living is more than just affordable housing and making friends. Interpersonal skills come along with social interaction and information exchange. Finally, co-working and co-playing inspires new experiences. The Half Dorm Co-Living project tries to uh, come up with design concepts for these. The next four-year program I wish to talk about is environment and interior design. Graduates will end up with a Bachelor of Arts Honours in Design in Environment and Interior Design. Please click on the QR code for more information. The Environment and Interior Design program deals with how we design for our spatial environment. This includes interior design, but also deals with aspects of landscape design, streetscape, architecture, urban design, including aspects of how we use this, the functions we need, and how to make this into a spatial reality. We cover a wide range of different uh, activities. As you can see, this includes service learning experiences in Japan, where a forest that was um, knocked over by a typhoon, the wood was used to construct a platform, as you can see in the bottom left. Other examples of this are shown from student works over the four-year program, which involves making many physical objects and experiences. Here is an example of a of year four student, graduating student from 2020. This project is called Gorilla Planter. It tries to find an alternative solution to sustainable living and farming in Shamshu Po area. It proposes a series of rooftop spaces and plug-in aspects of design that are also worked into a kind of game design that people living in this area can play. A second example is this one, which is called Archaeology. It questions how we can live in our stressful cities, in Hong, such as Hong Kong. It involves places of meditation and escape for stressed out people within Hong Kong. Three different places are proposed on Hong Kong Island, and these provide sensorial and spatial calmness so that people can go back to their, their complex lives. The fourth example I wish to talk about is uh, product design. Graduates from this program would end up in a Bachelor of Arts Honours Scheme in Design in Product Design. Please also click on the QR code for more information. Product design allows you to understand the design of our objects, everyday um, things that we buy, purchase, need. These include electronic objects, furniture, uh, tables, um, cutlery, things that we need for our everyday existence. How we can manufacture these, how we can design these, how we can uh, come up with new products that improve our lives. Examples of some of these PRD uh, product design projects 
are found on this image. You can see so kitchenware design, furniture design, ergonomic design in the design of a chair, toy design, for example, and transportation. This project is called ACID. It is from 2020. It is an international award winner of the James Dyson Award, a very prestigious award. This uh, student's project was looking at seating on buses and how they can deal better for aging bus travelers. So what you can see is that this person designed a very flexible and adaptable bus seat that can fold up and take up less space but can easily fold down in relationship to the, the handles that people use on a bus. So this is an example of some of the types of student work that you will do in year four if you're in our program. This product design student developed a project called Dwarf. This is an education kit about emotions for autism spectrum disorder children from 2019. It involves aspects of toy design and social design. It looks at how how these students can express particular emotion, whether it's anger, sorrow, disgust, or fear, through the uh, playing with these particular objects that have been designed. This is uh, aimed to improve their social lives by setting stages of emotional expression and emotional control. In the whole user experience, visual, tactile, and auditory sensation will be triggered to achieve the product objectives. I'd now like to talk about the admission process to make this a little bit more clear for you. Um, please do click on the QR code for more information as well. And please later on make sure that you talk to our student advisors and follow some of the workshops that will happen later in the day. The admission process is generally as follows. The application process is as follows. In the beginning of December, you will need to select School of Design as your band A or B selection. In mid or late May, we will hold an aptitude test which is designed to test your skills and potentials at design thinking. In other words, what we are looking for is how suitable you are for our design programs. These tests are usually around about one hour. They are not like a mathematics test, but they test your visual skills, how well you understand simple design problems. Can you draw this? Can you analyze this particular design issue? And are uh, basically testing your capability for our program. Following that, we will also look at your HKDSE results once they are announced in July. Um, for this, the minimum requirements that we are looking for are level three, English and Chinese language, level two, mathematics and liberal studies, and level three, two elective subjects. Um, of course, it is useful if you have art and art background but it is not essential. After your HKDSE results are released, we will invite selected applicants for an interview. The interview will be around about 15 minutes, but we'll ask you to bring a portfolio of your creative works, artworks, design works, um, and the interviewees will also look at your aptitude test results at the same time. The portfolio is a way that we can understand your skills, both artistic, creative, and design skills. This portfolio can come from former studies that you may have done within secondary school, but it also can come from your special interests, such as photography, painting, drawing, designing, or things that you have done in after-school activities thr throughout your growing up period. We welcome all of these because this gives us a way that we can understand your skills and capabilities and help us to make the decision whether we can offer you a place in our program or not. Please 
contact uh, the student helpers to ask them more questions about the portfolio pro uh, uh, process. Please also attend one or both of the sessions on later this afternoon on portfolio. Finally, in the beginning of August, uh, we will announce the offers um, and then you will know whether you have a place within our program. Please also note that the top 25% will have a direct offer and do not have to go through the aptitude test or the interview process. Finally, I'd like to um, just encourage you to follow PolyU Design online lectures and events. Um, this is useful for you to get to know our school better, to understand what we do. In fact, you can see online our recent exhibition, uh, which gives you a very, very good overview of our whole program. Um, so I really encourage you to click the QR code and follow this, follow our program as well. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Thank you very much for your participation and attention. Before we leave, I'd like to point you towards the PolyU Design Degree Show 2020, which is a fantastic virtual show of our top graduates from last year. This will give you a, a really good insight into how our program works and the type of design in all four programs, in fact, all seven programs, and how the students deal with those. Please make sure you look at our PolyU degree annual show. This is very important because perhaps if you get interviewed, you may get asked important questions about how well you understand the program you are applying for, as well as that it is a very good way that you can familiarize yourself with what our programs do and what kind of uh, design they are achieving within that program. So please make sure that you, s you visit our virtual online show as an essential part of today's activities. And if not today, then at least before your application. As well, I'd like to remind you of our contact details below, or you can click on the QR code. Um, and then finally, before we leave, remind you to stay online because there are several other very important events and online resources for you to access. These include a virtual tour of our show, uh, student chit chat, and consultation sessions, as well as sessions on portfolio preparation that you need to be familiar with. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing some of you in our school next year. Thank you.